dollars, 6%, that is $6. But if they collect 2% on mortgages and they can loan out up to 10 times, that is $1,000, they get $20 uh, at a rate of 2%. They get $20, you deduct $6 from 20, you have $14 profit on every $100. Now, the state of Florida has about $70 billion. Instead of putting in different banks and so on, you put in the state bank. That is $700 billion right there. You have access to credit. And then they have $100 billion in state pension fund, which they go and invest in Lehman's brother and they lose $50, $60 billion of it. They could have put in that state bank and they would have created $1 trillion credit. And you can imagine... uh, the, for every hundred dollar, they would have gotten fourteen dollar profit. So, with that money, we could finance everything. When the profit of a bank goes back to the people, you can do miracle. You can finance the healthcare. You can finance the students. Provide free education to the students. You can hire all the best teacher in the world and make them to just teach these kids because they are the future asset, they are future of the United States and the world. And they can make miracle. If we, if they learn our knowledge and you give to a fresh brain, a, a new brain, a young brain, and tell them, now develop that you know, they can do miracles. We go to the next level of uh, science. We go to the next level of everything. And that is where we make profit. That is where we enjoy life. That is where we are doing, going to do miracles. Not going and building, uh, uh, putting kids into college and charge them, to, uh, load them with 200,000 debt and then make them to work and flip over hamburger by McDonald because there is no job out there. And then destroy their life and and the best we can do is manufacture obsolete cars and destroy it every four years five years and replace it with another one we are becoming a, a economy that is going to go down the drain if it's already not gone there so we have to stop that immediately and uh, very as soon as we can do it that is what we should do and uh, and that is where we have to go and the uh, the era of the commercial banking system is over. Oh, it's definitely over. Yeah, and, uh, and the question I I want to I want to bring up something very incendiary with you in the sense that these bailout, for example, the bailout monies were given to the institutions that requested it, but the understanding was that once they got their money, they would start reissuing credit again. And then we found out that they were not willing to reissue credit again. So they took the money, they ran, and they didn't reissue credit. In other words, they didn't do what their accountability was to do. And so the financing of state banks is a totally different animal. I realize that. It's not a bailout. It's using what's already within our means to use that's available right now to monetize a whole new universe of jobs, and a new economy. But I will tell you, the success of it will be equal to that of the leadership, the vision, and the energy of the person who is stewarding that capacity, who's bringing it in. So if it's you in the state of Florida bringing it in as a next generation model of what can be done with a state bank, awesome. I'm excited. I look forward to seeing what you will do in Florida as soon as you are elected. I have another question for you. Please, may I add something? Sure. If we implement the economic plan which I'm proposing, we will be saving seven years of people's pay by reducing the cost of interest, insurance, and energy. That we will be doing it. And another problem is that what uh, uh, the politicians do not understand is that they try to stimulate the supply side, whereas they have to really go towards the demand side of the equation. Well, please explain that for people who don't have an economics background. Okay. I have seen in different states that they go and 
pay like $600 million to different company to create 1,000 jobs. And that is wrong. Okay, if they go even the manufacture solar system, what do they do after the manufactured 10,000 system? What do they do? There is no possibility of selling these things. There is no infrastructure for that. So what you really do is you say, okay, as a governor of the state of Florida, starting 2010, I will be buying 500,000 solar water heating system every year for next 10, 20 years till I have solarized Florida for good. Now, you know what happens? People know, companies know that they are going to have some buyer for their product. They come to Florida and they start manufacturing and it doesn't cost the state one red cent. All they can do is say, okay, I will buy your solar system if you go in certain areas and manufacture there because those areas are economically depressed and you want to stimulate additional attention to that. That is what I mean with the demand side. And we are missing that thing. What we are seeing with the bailout situation, they are giving to the supply side. And that supply side is not doing any good also. They are not giving money to anybody to go and do something. Had Obama said, I will be using that $800 billion buying solar system for the state of Florida, uh, for the United States, you know how many jobs he would have created overnight? No, I don't. Millions. Millions. And then he didn't need to give any incentive to any manufacturer because they knew there is a market for it. And the bank, uh, then the bank would have corrected themselves also because they, uh, they would be get, uh, trying to get deposits from the manufacturers, from the buyers, from the sellers, from everybody else. And uh, because from the buyers, because they got jobs. From the manufacturer, because they sold stuff and they had to deposit in some banks. And, they would, and the economy would have simulated. But this didn't happen in the United States, unfortunately. What they did, they, give it, they bailed out banks. For what? Everybody dies. And especially if you remember Schumpeter, he said uh, that every time there will be an innovative destruction, and that is right now the time for commercial banking to disappear. There is an innovative destruction with the Bank of the State of Florida and other states. And I have to also mention to you, yesterday I learned that on January 15, uh, the candidate for the governor of the state of Vermont will be announcing as his platform the creation of the bank, State Bank of Vermont. That's wonderful. On website, That's you can read it anyway. very interesting. Well, I'm very open. You know, Ellen Brown really opened me up to this. This and was a new thing yesterday I heard. And now in Tampa, there is a group that are protesting about the banks. And especially they are endorsing the bank of the state of Florida. It's worth a try. It's definitely worth a try. But I have a hunch that it will be as effective and as benevolent and as useful as the leadership allows it and empowers it to be. At the end of the day, you can have a fantastically brilliant apparatus and a structure that allows you to do something great, but if it's stewarded improperly, you have a monster. So I'm excited to see the models working. I can guarantee you that I'm going to make sure that during my time, it's run very properly and Everything I will do it to set a stage that it is run afterwards the same way. Now, uh, nobody can guarantee that things cannot change, but education is a very important thing. When we send our kids to colleges and say, and you ask them, uh, what you are studying? Oh, financing. Oh, you are going to be very rich. That is the idea. And so if you learn to do that thing, uh, you, you are going to have problem, but if you send kids to colleges and demand, I pay for your college, but you are going to study, let's say, uh, physics, chemistry, engineering, and that's what we used to do in the 60s. That was the time when Kennedy could send a man to moon. Why can't we send now even not a rabbit to outer space? <laughs> 
Yeah, it's no, uh, just 